Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. I'm going to be doing my final flip through of my anti journal, which I actually just recently finished. So yeah, um, this is kind of what it looks like. So pretty much if you're unsure what an anti journal is, it's similar to a this is not a book, a reckless journal or other types of books like that. So pretty much I started the anti journal on December 25th in 2017 and I finished it yesterday which was August 9th 2019 which is super exciting so it just took me about a year and a half to complete but without further ado let's get on with the video. These first few pages are just kind of random covering up all of the empty pages in the front. The disclaimer is on this page and then on the right hand side pretty much you're supposed to write I will not make boring art around this box and I did that with a bunch of scrapbooking letters for here I threw a wet tea bag at the page and then framed the consequences this page says be bold on the left page it says let out your feelings vent angrily here and decorate it decorate it happily so I did that with some black watercolors and then I just decorated them with a bunch of random scrapbooking stuff. And on the right side it says no down a worry and embellish it with positivity. So my worry was school and I just wrote a bunch of random little encouragement notes and decorated it all happily and stuff like that. This page on the left is one of my favorites. It says subtle differences in color and I just drew a bunch of desserts and then I all colored them in with a bunch of different pink markers. And one thing about the anti journal is that lots of pages have multiple prompts on them. So this one has turn things on their head on the top. And then the bottom, I cut out a photo and transformed it into an abstract piece of art. On the left side, I was supposed to rub this page on grass, which is what I did. And then this right page is a little confusing, but pretty much this is a prompt on one page. And then this random circle is from the other page. So I was rearranging some words from a book and then on this side I was supposed to cut this out and then flip the page over which is why this one corresponds with the outside of this page and this part says be daring here's another one of my favorites it says modify using a mug so I drew these really cute little dessert mugs and then the edges of the page are just cut out in the shapes of the mugs Here's another random page. This one, pretty much you're just supposed to color a bunch of different colors into different categories and this Rubik's Cube was already in here. This one says explore art tools and mixed media. So each little box had a little prompt and you were supposed to complete that. Um, this one says repeat and alter a pattern. So I don't know which corner I started but pretty much you make a pattern and you alter one thing as you go along. And I actually really like how this page turned out. I really like the color scheme. Over here, you're supposed to fill with completely illegible handwriting, and then this just said red, so I used some magazine clippings to put in here as a type of collage. Here we have voices in public places. On the left side, we have a page that says catalog insignificant things. I also really like how this page turned out. And on the right, it says paint using objects that roll, so I used a Hot Wheels car, and then I just drew the logo on top. This next one is actually another one of my favorites, I keep on saying that, but on the left side it says be quiet with lines and on the right it says be bold with lines. I wanted to combine the picture to be kind of cohesive and as one picture, so it's the same landscape um, all together, but then the left side I just used a thinner fine liner, then the right side I just used a marker. For this page, um, the prompt says see mistakes as opportunities there was like a black line on there so I decided to draw some pancakes around it and use it kind of as a chocolate syrup type of thing this side says fill the space with beauty sketch strangers from behind and this one says describe yourself in color so I just drew this kind of Picasso inspired piece of artwork and then I have all of the different colors and the meanings for the colors in this little flap over here Another one of my favorites is on the left side, which says create pets with fluff. So I made these little sloths and I covered them with fluff and they're having a little birthday party, which I think is so cute. Then this side, it says give yourself advice and I wrote see the good with some magazine pages. Over here we have pattern with a hole pin, punch, and pattern with a pin, which is why on this side there's random holes in the pages. 
This next one says tweet a page from your journal and the bottom says stamp. Pretty much um, I decided to not do that and I just drew some chicks which I thought was cute and I used a butterfly stamp over here. Uh, the prompt for this one is actually no longer there so I'm not sure what it said but this is the outcome of it and in this one you're supposed to create an image with your phone number. So I just used a bunch of the numbers and collaged that on the page. This side says add bubble wrap and wipe your fingers here. And then go mad with the stick. So I didn't really know what to do with for this page. So I just have this cute little dog holding a stick and then some branches behind him. To show up your two colors, this peacock was already there and then I added the feathers with pencil crayon and watercolor. And then this one is repeat and alter. Pretty much you have a beginning sentence and you just alter it one word at a time until you get to the final sentence at the bottom. Here's another one of my favorites. This one says make each one different and then stitch lines over here. I really like the cohesive color scheme throughout this page but still the prompts are very different and also I think when you sew on pages it looks really cool even though it is very time consuming. Left side we have a page that says capture energy and then this one you're pretty much supposed to upholster this chair with random fabrics. On the outside of this page it says decorate using paper clips. So I didn't glue in real paper clips, I just drew them with a metallic marker. And then the middle says create a mood board from spillages. So I just used the spills on a separate piece of paper, let them dry, and then I doodled over them and then glued them in. Perfect your pout is on the left hand side. I just cut out some magazine pieces and then I think this one was a, supposed to be a blackout poem. Um, the prompt is obviously covered. Here is record your diet through food packaging. Pretty self-explanatory. On the left side it says what the bad pen did. So I just drew this bathroom stall with some vandalism all over it. And the side it says glue in something cute. And I drew this cute little llama and I wrote llama in some calligraphy up here. So I think llamas are cute so they deserve to go on this page. Next we have showed colorful language and I took this one quite literally and I used some scrapbooking paper for all of the letters of the colors. On the right side it says uglify beauty so it might be a little difficult to see but I drew this bouquet of flowers and then on it there is blood and bugs. The left side says radiate and then this one on the right says a selfie disguise so I drew this girl and then I made a bunch of accessories out of some cardstock and then I just glued them on. And I think this page is so cute. I love the colors of it. Um, this one says use these to clean different surfaces. So I decided to draw these like 1950s housewives. This one's cleaning the kitchen, this one's cleaning the bathroom. I really liked drawing these and I use pencil crayon for these. The one on the left says create with your foot. So I drew this very awful cat with my feet and yeah, um, I colored it in not with my feet because that was near impossible. And this one says, ask people to leave a mark on this page. And then create a pat pattern in staples is on the other side. And this one says, track it. So I just drew these rainbow feathers. On the left, it says, cover this page with things that will change over time. So I drew a bunch of plants. Some of them are empty and there's some seeds in some of them. And this one says, test the possibilities of unlikely objects. So this, um, I kind of altered this one. I wasn't a fan of the prompt, so I decided to just put some random objects in here and use those as the media for the page. So I have some popcorn, some ramen, and some rice, just some random things like that. But I think the page looks really cool. This one has some star potato stamps on it. And this one says, do something so outrageous you have to cover it up. So that's what I did, and then I decorated around it. I'm a huge fan of the color scheme for this page. I think it turned out really well. And here's some more things on this page. This little letter can actually come out, and the note is inside, which I think is really cute. This one is a ketchup related, related catastrophe, another one of my favorites. Make a spontaneous mark, turn it into something. So this black line was my spontaneous mark and I drew this cute little cartoon character around it. This one I used a store card as a painting tool. And one thing about the anti journal is that a lot of the pages have just fallen out like this. So it's not super sturdy of a book. 
This one says don't hold back attack. So I have this little pop out line. I guess it's kind of hard to see. Another one of my favorites is take an unusual point of view. I really like how this one turned out. This one has a bunch of stickers on it. And this is drawing how I drew at age four and three quarters. So I copied some of my old drawings. This one says build patterns from patterns. Um, this one says decorate this, cut it out, and leave it for a stranger to find. I just put it back in here because I didn't know what else to do with it. This one says print with junk and create a still life. This was already drawn in here and I just colored it in. This one says project shadows here, preserve them in any medium. So I just colored them in with some markers. This one actually turned out to be one of my favorites as well. It says pour colors here. I just did this with acrylic paint. Here it says record a walk in images or objects. So I drew these little Polaroids of my walk to school. Here is a little doodle on the left side. And then on the right, it says different kinds of the same thing. So I have a bunch of plants on here that these are done in watercolor. This page is pretty much a bunch of lists of different things. It prompts you to write different lists of things. And I did the background with the watercolors. This one has a bunch of cupcakes on it. And pretty much it gave you some blobs and you were supposed to continue this. So I made them in all into cupcakes. Here's some cats on the left side. And this one says stick an envelope here. For the create love page, I just used a bunch of scrapbooking paper and glitter glue and sequins and stuff like that. And this one says outline the space between objects, which I did and then I ended up coloring them all in because I thought the design looked really cool. This one says distress and I drew this little rainbow kitty like he was scratching the page. And then over here it says create an abstract into a gum. This is not actually gum because I couldn't find um, that much gum and I didn't want to chew all of that gum so I decided to use model magic and I think it looks like gum so I guess it's not 100% accurate but I really like how this page turned out this one says scour so I just scrubbed the page and I wrote scrub so you kind of knew what I did because you couldn't really see it this one says steal lines, print lines from famous poems and combine them to form your own decorate an inspirational quote so I just wrote be creative this one says let go of something so I just made these little birds and their wings are still able to flap on the page. On the left side it says litter with letters so I did every letter of the alphabet and just drew something behind it that for each letter. And then this one I drew all of these these little kitties in a bathtub and then pretty much for everything I rolled the dice for which color I was going to color it in. Okay so we are about halfway done we're slowly getting through this book. The left side says make good, um, this is to promote a worthwhile cause and I wrote live in the moment. I feel like there's a lot of random pages kind of like this which aren't really my favorites. And then this one you're supposed to copy the pattern from a favorite piece of clothing. Not really a favorite but like one of the only pattern pieces of clothing that I have. So I painted that in. This one says use a twig as a drawing tool. So I drew this little flower vine with a twig. This one is really cool. Pretty much it says seek out straight pieces of plastic and gather them here. So this entire page is actually plastic. So I use um, packing tape to kind of put it all together. It's difficult to see, but I like how it turned out. This one says something about like raining color. The prompt isn't on here anymore. This one says make these as different from each other as possible. On the top I have a bunch of nice pretty flowers. And then here we have some um, Venus fly traps and some other scary flowers that are like eating each other and some thorns, stuff like that. This one says take the long route. Here we have, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to make art with something random or a found object. So I made this boom box. This one says do not look at this. So sketch something without looking at the page. On the side, I pixelated this image of a watermelon. And then over here I painted using a plastic building block, also known as a piece of Lego. So this page on the left says a waste paper basket collage. So pretty much I just used a bunch of pieces from my recycling bin and glued them on here. Over here I'm supposed to use every pen that you can find and I made this little design with this. The left side says dump negativity and then this one you're supposed to repeat a positive statement over and over. So I just said be kind which is the most cliche thing I could think of. 
On the left, I'm supposed to, or I splice together different images in alternating strips. And then this one, you're supposed to zoom in a part on a part of your body. This time I had a really big bruise, so I decided to draw that because it had really pretty colors. Over here, it says spread anything spreadable, so I drew this peanut butter jar, and I actually put peanut butter on this page, so we'll see how soon that rots. And then over here, I created a sense of movement with a bunch of random blue markers. Enlarge what you see of a previous artwork. So pretty much I cut this out and I drew that again over here in the bigger box. This one I painted with grass. Over here it says find a useless piece of information and decorate it. So this was like a random tag from a pillow or something and I decorated around it. I actually really like how this looks. And over here I sprayed here. I drew these cleaning supplies and then I sprayed with some food coloring and water. This page says calm to chaos. So over here I have some yarn rolled up and then this one it is just all going crazy all over the place. And on a side note, I apologize if you can hear the rain in the background. It, it is currently raining very hard, but we will continue on. Um, over here it says record a blur, three squinted eyes. And then these are mini abstracts and close-ups of other images and stuff like that. Um, this one says, ask a friend to sketch you crudely, which my brother did. And over here, I used a pencil in an unusual way. So I used an eraser kind of to make a, this stippling painting, which kind of looks bad, but that's okay. Over here is a what if page. So pretty much I said, what if I lived in a treehouse? And then I painted this little treehouse in the jungle. And then over here, I frayed a bunch of fabric and glued that in. On this left side, you're supposed to plan the route from where you are to where you would like to be. So pretty much I did this on little pieces of scrapbooking paper. I really like how this page turned out. This one, you are supposed to attempt a, an ambitious artwork and then abandon it halfway through. So I started it and then I stopped when I was partly done, which is kind of unfortunate because I like where it was going, but it's not completed. This prompt is pretty much a paint by number. This image was already in the book and then each number had a different little thing you're supposed to do to it. I think this was actually one of the first pages that I completed in this book. On the left, you are supposed to continue this design. Then over here, it says find wonder in nature. And I had this leaf um, that was pressed from like many years back. So I decided to cover it in backing tape and I glued it in the book. So now the edges of it kind of peek out, but I think it's kind of cool. Over here, you are supposed to take an image and then continue to simplify it. So just do this little portrait of this girl. Um, this page says design by removing parts. So I just, just did this geometric type of pattern. Then on the other side, you're supposed to bleed colors and place under a dripping tap. So that's why both sides are colorful like this. This one, you are supposed to collage the same thing from different sources. So I did stars and the paper is actually made out of packing tape which I think is really cool. Over here it says leak ink and then tilt. So I drew this little space cat because I thought it matched the ink. And over here it says design transparently reflect light. So I have a picture of Lumiere here and the background has packing tape and nail polish on it. And then this page says, what are you thinking? I just did a bunch of little blurbs for what are you thinking right now? And then I put some scrapbooking letters over. Over here it says highlighter pens, so I just do this girl with some highlighters. On the left side you're supposed to record feedback from posting your video, a video online. So pretty much I just cut out some comments from my past YouTube videos and put them on here. This one you're supposed to use the patterns from inside used envelopes. On the left side I did a one minute drawing of this plant and then on, and then on the right you are supposed to swatch different colors and then give them different names. Here you're supposed to draw with words, so if you look closely, all of the different desserts are colored in with words of what they are. This one says keep adding layers. This one is a crowd of found faces. On the left side, you're supposed to describe your life in 10 words. And then over here, you're supposed to release tension, so I put some old notes on here. On this side, this has a mystery object in there, and then you're supposed to reproduce two pages of your anti journal in miniature. So I did that and I glued that in, which I think is really cute. Then over here, you're supposed to combine people you like to create one individual. So I have this little envelope and it has a bunch of different clothing pieces 
in here that have different traits that I like. So then you can dress the person there. It says shred paper, so I made this cute little pinata. This one, I used petals to paint this picture. This one says create characterful marks, name each mark after someone you know it best suits. So I just painted these random things and then gave them random human names. This one, I was supposed to picture myself as a tree. Um, this one is another one that I like and it says journey through your mind. Started happy and then I kept on adding words that my mind went to and then I ended up drawing some of them. And I really like how some of these little pictures turned out. I think they're really cute. Here I made this the center of attention with using a bunch of arrows. And then over here you're supposed to cut up something from popular cult culture you dislike and then scatter it all over the page. And this one was a picture and then a picture inside of a picture, etc. and etc. Et so that one looks like that. And then over here you're supposed to go out into the world and create outrageously. And I drew these, or I did some watercolors of these cute little whales. Then over here, this is just a random collage page with things that I didn't have a place for them to go. So that is my completed anti-journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and making through this very long video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!